Hey guys, this is Zibby Gamerx, and welcome to a bit of a monster truck painting tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to make your trucks using the software called Paint.net. I will leave a link for the download of Paint.net in the description. So, I'm going to try and do a repaint of the Zombie 2014 and make it look like the yellow zombie from 2016. So what you want to do is you want to head into your vehicle folder of whatever rigs or odds version you want you have right now. Now I have like a lot of files extracted because I had no idea what I was doing back then. So I'm trying to find it. I think it was zombie I need to look at this. Um, two. Okay, so. Okay, here it is. So we're gonna load up the Zombie Body Reborn TNG file. I already started some of the painting, so I'm gonna finish that up right now. So we're gonna open this up with paint.net. May take a minute to load. And I already. You, you can use this method to repaint some other trucks, like, um, like the NEA police and what the hell. Yeah, I'll just ignore that for now, I don't even know why the hell that even showed up. Okay, so the first thing you want to do... Okay, well first thing, here's the first thing when you try to do something. So, it's like the paintbrush, and don't do what I'm doing, just forget everything. Try paint is blue, it like overlap over everything, you don't want that to happen. So what you want to do is, you want to go to this icon right here that says add new layer. So what you want to do is double click on that layer. And now for the blending mode, you want to set it to overlay. Click OK. okay there you go, now you have your color of yellow selected. And you can probably start off with a really big brush. So what you want to do is, you just want to start, just click your mouse and drag it, and then you, you finally start playing on the body to make it look like it overlay, I think. You might want to take your time with this, because there are a lot of times where you might mess up. So I'm just going to go on this part real quick. Okay, so... Okay, can't mess up there. Alright, that should do for now. Then you might want to use a smaller brush, but in case you do mess up, I'm just going to mess up on purpose, and I'm just going to do that. You do have an eraser tool that you can use. You just erase whatever you just did without hurting like the paint of the body whatsoever. Alright, so now what we want to do is like a smaller paintbrush size. It tends to be, and maybe that might be a bit too small, so let's see. Oops, that's the eraser. <laughs> My bad. Right, what you want to do is you want to zoom in to get in these really small spots right here. Because if you do it from zooming in, from like a really zoomed out, you could accidentally paint over it like this, like blah, 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 blah. You don't want to do that. So we're just going to fill in these parts right here. And try and get much of, as much of the gray off as possible. For like, the best quality possible. So... Yeah, great. I mean, this is kind of self-explanatory, but... Yeah, it's pretty much just self-explanatory, it's pretty much what it is. Alright, just gonna finish filling in this part right here. Let's see if there are any last touches I can make. 
So I guess that's about right there. You also might want to double check to see if there are any gray spots. I'm pretty sure I got all of them on all the other parts of the bottom. Oops, okay, but I don't do what I just did right there. <laughs> I recommend trying doing like one panel of the body in one step only. Like for instance, like you could do like this entire panel right here. Try and do that in like one try. Don't save it and then come back to it later or else you're just gonna overwrite the yellow. So yeah, too much hit, but Okay, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, I'm not good at talking. Right, we're gonna finish up this part right here. And it's probably zoom in a bit more. And I don't know if I'm gonna release this yet. Like, the reason I'm making this paint tutorial is because so that you guys can actually make these trucks yourself. In case you don't already know how to. Right now I only know how to do repaints. I don't know how to use Blender or anything like that, and I don't think I'm gonna use that anytime soon. Alright, we're almost done with this part of the body. Oh, damn it. This is why you want. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, nope. Okay. I have an idea. Like, if you already made like a really big brush stroke like I just did, or like you've been holding down the brush for like a really long time. There is a way to fix that, so for the eraser, I'm going to erase what you just did with here, be as careful as possible, maybe you want to go over smaller eraser size than that, just for the most accuracy. Alright, that looks like it's it for that part of the body. Oops, that is not the zoom out button. <laughs> and there you go, like, I painted that entire part of the panel yellow, now I'm going to paint this entire panel yellow right now, so I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, so I am almost done with painting, but I know you guys are going to probably tell me like, Oh, Adam, you idiot, use the paint bucket. Well, here's the thing, if I use the paint bucket, watch what will happen. Yeah, like it'll turn the hair red along with everything else that's over here, so that kinda looks like lava to be honest. <laughs> then yeah, like affected pretty much everything else over here, so that is something I do not recommend. Do not use the paint do not use the paint bucket when trying to be paint zombie to be yellow. Alright guys, it looks like I am all done with zombie. So this should be what your finished result should look like. So now once this is done, we're going to do for a file. And you can save it as... Well, I will place this with the regular TNT. Because I still have a copy of the original body if I want to replace it. Because I'm going to buy your phone already Yes, I will replace it. If you don't take... If you I wouldn't recommend dragging this into the zip file, but I think it might be depends on how well your files are arranged. But I still recommend keeping the original file in the same place. I might do a cloning tutorial as well sometime soon, so you guys can actually have like both versions of the zombie at the same time. So what we're going to do is just click on OK, that's ask you to flatten, click on flatten, that basically converts all layers into one. So now what I'm going to do, make an X out of that. Yeah, I think I'll Yeah, I'll play my back So, what we're going to do is load up with Rod version 28. And then we'll see if Yellow Zombie will be back to the game.
Alright, so now let's just use this one and we're going to We have to leave the sound on. Okay, there you go. Like, I'm still working on the face, and the arms need to be recolored as well. But other than that, it does look pretty accurate. Okay, with that. I hope this thanks for the help you guys out so far. There is now I'm gonna put it up quick. Is it? What the face like I already made? So I'm gonna find it here. Using the same strategy you can also retain all the parts to get the blue and yay police. Which looks Really awesome. Also, I'm just going to give you guys a tip. Something that might help as well, especially for the blue NEA police, is if you paint the spec maps of the bodies the same color as the regular body. Alright, so now I'm just going to exit the paint. And I'm going to show you guys one more thing that might help you with the paint tutorial. So let's get back to the folder. This is another trick I've been working on, but I'm probably definitely not going to release it because it's going to be nowhere near perfect. So I'm going to scroll somewhere. Here we go. This is something I've been starting to work on, which is a green version, which is a green version of the band new Califast. So again, Probably not going to release it because it's going to be nowhere near perfect. Like, you don't have. Like, this male voice sign or whatever. Or whatever that's even it, supposed to be. I don't think that's supposed to be on the front either. But I'm going to show you guys a little bit on how to do this correctly. So, let's open this to that as well. Okay, so this is the This, so if you want to find your colors in again, select this rule that kind of looks like an eye dropper or whatever. There we go. Now we have the color. And now we can begin to paint. So, yeah, it's just another one of those situations where you don't really want to, you know, do that or else you're going to mess up like the entire graphic. So that's why you have to paint, use the paintbrush to paint everything. So, this one is put, no we're going to be, it's going to be nowhere near perfect, so you, and you can't overlay because, yeah, I'm just to show you guys. If I do an overlay, and paint the screen on, yeah, you're not going to get the same result. So, you don't want the overlay layer. You have to do everything on one layer only, I believe. Alright, so what we're going to do is, all I have to do is just start painting. It's really pretty much as simple as that, but it's going to take a lot of time. Alright, another thing I kind of forgot to mention, like, if you like find a way to like, cut off the border for something, I'm just going to pop it quick, but, but yeah, like, if I try to paint here earlier, using the paint bucket, then we already saw, like, how all of this returned to green as well, which, you, again, you, feel, you don't want that to happen. But if you cut off somewhere between, like, a color like this, your paint bucket, there you go, it's filled in. And again, you want to use, like, a really small paintbrush size to get in between these small places. So let's zoom in a bit more. And yeah, I'm fine. Let's 
far as that about the step with a red You can even probably use like a different shade of green to like outline the text or something like that if you want to. It also might be a good idea to have like a reference of the monster truck kind of paint alongside here somewhere. So you can actually make it extremely accurate. And it's good. So that's fine right there. And again, there's no one. This I'm not gonna release this at especially not Spanish. Yeah, I'm not gonna release Spanish so fast. So there's gonna be nowhere near perfect. You know, I think that'll do for now. So I'm gonna save this. Alright, I'm gonna minimize everything. Now I'm gonna hang the bridge of rods once again. And now I'm gonna see. If the green will actually be the correct shade of color, because if it's not the correct shade, then you might have to start again. Or I'm pretty sure probably use it, I don't know. Maybe I'm just gonna use the track again. Alright, here it is, Bandit Style Fest 2012. As you can see, like, it's an okay pink color, but again, it's going to be no longer perfect. Probably I can do a bunch of other things to it to make it more perfect. But, and of course, point to me, so it's hard to get to the show up, I'll probably fix that in my own time. But yeah, I guess that's it for like, the page tutorial basics. If you have any more questions, then please don't ask me, because <laughs> no, I can't. But I'll try to help them as best I can, but if not, I'll probably go to the Tim Monsters of its support form. Probably see a few other tutorials there. I think the Shona already did a tutorial on this, but it's kind of a little bit expensive, yes. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, as of right now, it looks like our time is up. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to check out my other videos, and I will see you guys next time.